want to compliment our team for how hard they played. I truly thought we were a better team tonight. We just came up a couple plays short. Uh, wish we would have had a better plan uh, on offense, especially in the second half. We had opportunities to score. We didn't. I got to take that responsibility. I just wish that we could have put our guys in better positions to win. Any question? Coach, um, the decision with about seven minutes left when you were down by six to go for it on fourth and goal to seven instead of kick. Can you talk about that a little bit? We're going for it. We walked in the stadium, we're going for it. There was no question. We're going for the win the whole time. And if I could have follow up, uh, the, the two turnovers, the one late in the first half, the one to start the second Costly. half. Costly. That turnover, that the turnover before the first half should have never happened. Costly, you know, and then Tyron had a big run. You know, the guy the guy did a good job of stripping, but we knew we had to win the turnover battle to win the game. And there were two costly, costly turnovers, no doubt. Coach, I missed your first statement where you said you wish you had something. Um, if you could if you could repeat that or kind of clarify what you were talking about. Yeah, I just I wish we I, you know, I wish we had a better plan. We was in a position to win this football game, but we didn't. We stalled. We stalled. We stalled on the eight-yard line. Then we get a, a sack fumble, and we gain one yard. I mean, we can't do that. We got to put our guys in better position. That's all. Monday, I asked you what the self-scouting was, and you were very honest about the predictability. You you went against that tonight with defensive blitzes and pressures. Uh, you know, I don't. I didn't see a ton different on offense, but you may have been limited, and I don't know about that. But did did you feel like? Obviously, you have nothing to lose, but did you feel like we've got nothing to lose? Let's go out fighting as best we can. Well, you know, I don't like that statement, nothing to lose, because there's a game to lose, and that's important to us, you know what I mean? But we felt that we had to blitz. We felt that we had to be more diverse on defense, and we worked our tails off last week. And uh, I got to give uh, Coach Call uh, credit. Uh, he's he's, a, he's a, an analyst for us. He came up with those third down blitzes. There's a couple of third down blitzes. The, the one that we had the sack fumble. You know, he recommended to it. We put him in. I got to give the compliment to the defense. We had adjustment period. I thought I thought our defensive guys really, really got better during open day. Yeah, hey coach. You know, you've been here for, for five years now and just the, the, the defensive performance tonight, I mean, just you guys were so shorthanded and to have the kind of game that those guys did, is that rank up there for you in terms of the best y'all played defensively? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of them, and I'm really proud of them. You know, I, I, we just should have won the game. You know, I just should have won the game. But those guys played their hearts out. You know, we lost Mason. We lost a lot of guys. You know, Dwight's making plays out there. Cam's making plays. You know, we came into the stadium. We were win the game. These guys were not intimidated. They wanted to win the football game. We just fell a little short. Oh. And I mean, just, you know, you're kind of running out of the stadium with your arms raised, but, you know, what's <laughs> kind of going fun. through your mind there at the end of the game? <laughs> what was that? Just what was kind of going through your mind there as the ball dropped at, at the end of the game? We're not, we're not going to let this crowd intimidate us. We, we, it wasn't going to happen. We, we, we were coming in this house to win the game, so, and so was I. So I was having fun with it. Part of college football. Coach, I wanted to ask you about the fake punt. Uh, what went into that planning? And, yeah, if you could take me through that decision. Yeah. And when's the last time you tried that? Yeah, well, we, we tried that fake punt against uh, Auburn. And uh, we came a little short. It didn't work. Uh, we knew that we were going to run the fake punt, fourth and five on the 50. They were getting to give us a certain defense. We felt that we could get it. And we called timeout. I wanted to make sure that everything was clear of what we were doing, and we ran it. And it was good. give the credit to Coach Mack. He put it in. A good, good, good call. Eddie, there's no moral victory, as I understand that, but the, the effort that you guys put out there um, to, to be where you were and have a chance a couple of times to, to get the lead in that ball game. I mean, I know we were going to focus on what the defense did, but it seemed like a lot of guys were making plays tonight that, you know, probably. Our guys, wanted to, our guys came to win, Mike. I, I, we had the best week of practice. I know people get tired of me saying that, but we had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, our guys were on. And this is LSU, Alabama. I knew they were going to play well by the way we practiced. But here's what I, I want to say, though. This is going to lead into the last three games. 
we got to play the last three games with the same fire, the same intensity, same fire we had on defense, and get better on offense. And it's, I told them the next day, the next week in Arkansas, we got to get ready. We got to get ready and play well. Yeah, hey, Coach. Sorry, just another follow up on the defensive effort tonight. Just what was the, I guess, the game plan? Was there something you guys saw on film that you were really just kind of impressed by? I mean, you guys seemed to bring a lot of blitzing tonight, and that, that yeah. really seemed to pick up for you guys. It was nothing about them, it was all about us. We were too predictable on first down. I said that. And uh, we wanted to change. We wanted to uh, get after. We found that we had to do some different things, and we put in. I'll say we put in maybe eight different defenses, and uh, you got to give credit. Our defensive staff worked very, very hard. Our guys picked it up. There wasn't many busts tonight. Uh, give credit to our players. I mean, they worked hard. They believed in it. For us to get that sack pomo at the end and put us in a position to win, that was an all-out blitz. That's zero blitz. We have never done that all year. I'm curious again about the fake punt. Um, what? How did Jack Mashburn kind of become the target of that play? And also, did you feel like that gave your team some energy, especially facing multiple fourth downs in this game? Yeah, we needed that. And, and uh, again, Jack, you know, he earned a scholarship. Jack is a very good football player for us. He's improved in his blocking, but he's a good catcher. Got to give Avery the credit now. Avery faked like he was going to run and threw a little shot put pass. He's been practicing her all week. I told him they have to do it 20 times after each practice. So, got to give him credit. Give it to Coach Mack, man. He designed it. It was great. Coach Max is so tough. He's getting hit uh, so much out there tonight. But is there no way to get him out of the game for a little bit because of the red shirt issue with, uh, with Nussmeyer? Well, you know, the thing I talked to Garrett was if I'm going to play him, it's going to be for significant snaps. And uh, I just wasn't going to play him for two or three snaps tonight. Uh, it's got to be significant. And listen, I do believe he's going to end up redshirting. Uh, it's not sure yet, but I hate for him to burn a redshirt year for two or three plays. That cushion that your defensive backs were giving, was that kind of the compromise that yeah. you need given who was out of the game? Yeah, we're playing zero, so we get, had to give some cushion. We wanted to break up, you know, but just clear, clear, clear the throw and break up and make tackles. We knew they were going to gain some yards, Mike. We just didn't want the ball over our head. And we called one, one blitz that got the ball over our head. I wish we could have it back. We only called it one time, and they beat us on it. They had a, they had a good scheme on it. Hey, Coach. It's Ari Pons from Tiger TV. Um, Damone Clark had an amazing game. He made tackles. He... He was on fire. Can you explain that? Great, great player. I think he's uh, one of the best linebackers, if not the best linebacker in the country. He's big. He's physical. He's got a heart. He's a great leader for us, smart. I can't say enough good things about him. Else, he's had some great linebackers. He's one of them. I think he's going to go into the NFL and have a great career. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers.